Hello, twin. How are you? My name is Martin, and I'm going to be your teacher today. Remember, as always, the first part of the class will be on YouTube, and the second part will be on Zoom with your teacher. Okay, so let's go to the virtual classroom, and I'm going to show you today's class, which is class number 10. Okay, so this is the class. And we are going to start with the handout called Correcting Mistakes. Okay, so this is the first handout that we're going to do. Correcting Mistakes. Okay, so let's go there. Okay, so this is the handout. It says Correcting Mistakes. Complete the sentences. Then Reread the text on page 42 and correct the wrong information. Entonces, antes de arrancar este handout, les voy a pedir que, si tienen el libro con ustedes, que lo abran en la página 42, page 42. Ok, this one. Porque para completar nuestro handout, vamos a necesitar de la información de estos cuatro textos. ¿Se acuerdan de James, Amit, Dakota y Kim? Que los vimos en la clase anterior. Bueno, vamos a necesitar de esta información para poder completar el handout. ¿Ok? ¿Y qué vamos a hacer? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? We are going to complete the sentences Vamos a completar las oraciones, pero al completarla nos vamos a dar cuenta que hay cierta información que es incorrecta. And we have to correct that information. Entonces, esa información que es incorrecta la vamos a tener que corregir. Ok, so let's do the first one. It says, James to school by train. So, we have to complete these sentences using the verb go. So, what do we write? James, go to school by train. Is this correct? Okay, very good. No, James goes to school by train. Recuerden que porque nuestro sujeto es James, que a su vez puede ser reemplazado por el pronombre he, teníamos que hacer una modificación al verbo. Y como a su vez nuestro verbo termina en o, tenemos que agregarle una es. Ok, so James goes to school by train. But we know that he doesn't go to school by train. No, he doesn't go to school by train. How does he go to school? Okay, very good. He goes to school by bus. Okay? Entonces, recuerden que para poder corregir esta oración, tenemos que fijarnos en los textos de la página 42. So, remember he, he goes by bus. ¿Ok? Entonces, presten atención en esta oración que para negar esta primera oración, es decir, para corregir esta primera oración, usamos la palabra doesn't. ¿Se acuerdan que en la clase anterior nosotros habíamos visto que para armar oraciones negativas y vamos a usar la palabra don't. Ok, now we are going to use the word doesn't. Ahora vamos a usar la palabra doesn't en lugar de don't y más adelante les voy a explicar por qué vamos a usar la palabra doesn't. Ok, very good. So, sentence number two. It says, Kim to school every day. So, Kim 
Okay, very good. Walks to school every day. Recuerden otra vez de la S, ya que nuestro sujeto es she. Okay. Very good. So, Kim walks to school every day. But we know that this is not true. Sabemos que ella no camina a la escuela todos los días. So, vamos a negar esta información. Y fíjense, tomando el ejemplo de la primera oración, ¿qué podemos escribir en esta segunda oración? No, she... Ok, very good. She doesn't, she doesn't walk to school every day. Y fíjense, presten atención a otra cosa acá. Cuando usemos la palabra doesn't, fíjense que nuestro verbo, al que en un primer momento le habíamos agregado la S, ahora le volvemos a sacar esa S. Fíjense en nuestra primera oración. James goes to school by train y teníamos la ES y cuando negamos esa oración le sacamos la ES. So here we do the same. No, she doesn't walk to school every day. She, when does she walk to school? Ok, very good, on Mondays. So, she walks to school on Mondays. Ok, so, remember here. En este caso, volvemos a agregar la S, porque esta oración no es negativa. Ok, very good. So, number three, it says, Kim... To school with her big sister on Wednesdays. Kim. And what do we write here? Very good. Kim goes to school with her big sister on Wednesdays. So here we highlight this. Ok, but we know that this is not true. Dijimos que ella, fíjense la oración anterior. When does she walk to school? On Mondays. Ok, so, no, she doesn't go to school with her sister on Wednesdays. They... Walk to school, very good. They walk to school together. And question here. ¿Tenemos que agregar una S en este caso? Pay attention to the subject of the sentence. The subject is they. So, we don't add an S here. Cuidado acá porque nuestro sujeto es they. Y con they, con el pronombre they... No agregamos una S al verbo. So, they walk to school together on Mondays. Very good. Number four. We have Dakota. Dakota to school. So, very good. Walks to school. Walks to school. But again, we know that this is not true. Do you remember that Dakota's school is next to a big lake? ¿Se acuerdan que la escuela de Dakota estaba al lado de un lago? So, no, she doesn't. She doesn't walk to school. She... Okay, very good. She goes to school. She goes to school. Recuerden agregar ESG. To school. And how 
does she go to school? How does she go to school? Okay, very good. By boats. She goes to school by boats. Recuerden también que cuando hablábamos de los medios de transporte que usamos para dirigirnos a ciertos lugares, usábamos la palabra by. Okay? So, number five. James' friends to school by bike. James' friends to school by bike. So we write, James' friend go to school by bike. And is this correct? Go or goes? Pay attention to the subject of this sentence. It says James friends, ¿ok? Los amigos de James. Entonces, a toda esta unidad la podemos reemplazar por they. Y si es they, entonces nuestro verbo no va a agregar ni e, ni, ni s, ni e, s. So, James friends go to school by bike. No, they. Okay, pay attention here. Hasta ahora veníamos usando la palabra doesn't para negar nuestras oraciones. En este caso vamos a usar la palabra don't que fue la que vimos en la clase pasada. No se preocupen porque ya les voy a explicar por qué vamos a usar la palabra don't en este caso. They don't ride their bikes to school and they, y siguiendo nuestro primer ejemplo, they don't walk, ¿ok? They, very good, go to school and, what word goes here, remember? By boats, so, very good, by bus, very good. And number six, the last one, it says, Amit, mm -mm, at eight o'clock, and we have to use the verb get up. So, Amit, very good, gets up at eight o'clock. Fíjense que como nuestro sujeto es he, vamos a agregarle una S al verbo. E importante, presten atención que la S va en la palabra get, ¿ok? No va en la palabra up. Amit gets up at 8 o'clock. Ok, but no, he doesn't get up at 8 o'clock. So, we write, no, he doesn't. Get up at 8 o'clock. He gets up very good at 6 o'clock. Okay? So, entonces, recuerden que en algunos casos, para negar nuestras oraciones, vamos a usar la palabra don't y en otros casos la palabra doesn't. Y ahora vamos a ver cuáles son esos casos en los que tenemos que agregar don't y cuáles en los que tenemos que usar la palabra doesn't. Ok, so, remember that if you have any questions, please ask your teacher in the chat. Ok, ok, now we're going to work with the handout called Important Rule, Negative Form. Ok, important rule, negative form. So, this is the handout. And pay attention because it says remember. So, we are going to highlight this. And this as well. Y recuerden también, como siempre les indico, que si tuvieron la posibilidad de imprimir este handout, no deben doblarlo a la hora de pegarlo eh, en la carpeta. 
Okay, and it says, important rule for the negative form. Okay, for the negative form. Y como habíamos mencionado anteriormente, para armar una oración negativa teníamos dos posibilidades. O usamos la palabra don't o usamos la palabra doesn't. Ok, y ustedes se preguntarán, ¿cuándo usamos la palabra don't y cuándo usamos la palabra doesn't? Ok, let's take a look at the first sentence. It says, James doesn't go to school by train. James doesn't go to school by train. So, what words are we using here to make this sentence negative? ¿Qué, ¿Qué palabra estamos usando en este caso para armar nuestra oración negativa? Ok, very good. We add doesn't. We add doesn't. Usamos la palabra doesn't. Add significa agregar. We add doesn't. And the verb without. And pay attention to the verb here. Presten atención al verbo en esta oración. Porque nosotros habíamos visto que con las oraciones afirmativas, si nuestro sujeto era he, she or it, teníamos que hacerle una modificación a nuestro verbo. Y a su vez, esa modificación iba a depender también en cómo terminara nuestro verbo. Esta oración de ser afirmativa sería James goes to school by train. Pero al hacerla negativa, vamos a eliminar esa ES. So, James doesn't go sin la ES. So, we add doesn't and the verb without S or ES, sin la S o la ES, dependiendo. When the subjects are, ¿y con qué sujetos vamos a usar la palabra doesn't? Si pensamos en la actividad anterior, we talked about James, we talked about Dakota, we talked about Kim. So, okay, very good. We are going to use the word doesn't when the subjects are he, she, or it. Ok, entonces, cuando nuestros sujetos son he, she, or it, vamos a usar la palabra doesn't para armar oraciones negativas. Y recuerden que nuestro sujeto no se le agrega, que nuestro verbo, perdón, no se le agrega ni s ni es cuando la oración es negativa. Ok, then it says, and remember, I Don't go to school by plane. I don't go to school by plane. So, what words are we using here to make this sentence negative? Okay, very good. In this case, we are using don't. So, we add don't. We add don't. And the verb, when the subjects are... Entonces, si usamos doesn't con los sujetos he, she, or it, ¿cuándo vamos a usar don't? I don't go to school by plane. Very good. You don't go to school by plane. We don't go to school by plane. Or they don't go to school by plane. Entonces, con estos sujetos, I, you, we, o they, vamos a usar don't a la hora de armar oraciones negativas. ¿Ok? So, remember that in case you have any questions, please ask your teacher in the chat. 
Okay, now we're going to work with your books. So, discover English 1, page 43, page 43. Okay, and I want you to pay attention to this grammar box. Entonces, una vez más, vamos a repasar nuestra regla a la hora de armar oraciones negativas. So, we said that with I, you, we, and they, we are going to use the word don't. Okay, so I don't go to school by bus. You don't go to school by bus. We don't go to school by bus. Or they don't go to school by bus. Okay? And with he, she, or it, we are going to use the word doesn't. Okay? So, he doesn't go to school by bus, or she, or it, doesn't go to school by bus. Okay? Y recuerden, muy importante que, cuando negamos una oración usando doesn't, nuestro verbo no debe agregar ni S ni ES. ¿Ok? El verbo vuelve a estar en infinitivo, en su forma original. He doesn't go to school. ¿Ok? Now, let's pay attention to this chart. It says, watch out. And it says, buy, bike, motorbike, car, boat, bus, plane, train, and on food. Entonces, dijimos anteriormente que a la hora de expresar el medio de transporte en el, el cual usamos para dirigirnos a ciertos lugares, íbamos a usar la palabra buy. So, buy bike, buy motorbike, I go to school, buy car or buy bus. But there is one exception. And that exception is with the word foods. Entonces, con la palabra foods no vamos a usar buy. Vamos a decir, por ejemplo, I go to school on foods. Es decir, caminando. O también podemos decir directamente I walk to school. ¿Ok? So, these two sentences mean the same. I go to school on foods or I walk to school. Okay? Now, let's go to the virtual classroom again. So, for homework, you'll have to do this handout called Present Simple, Affirmative and Negative. And you'll have to do online practice. Ok, negative sentences, don't o doesn't. Entonces, de tarea van a llevar un handout y un online practice para practicar armar oraciones negativas. Ok, ahora sí, seguimos la clase por Zoom.